Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be talking about and showing you guys some things that I have in my USA home that I did not have in my German home. Some of these are a little bit more serious, I guess you could say, and some of these are a little bit more on the funny side. So I hope you guys get a laugh out of this video. You can let me know though down below. Ooh, you can can let me know though down below in the comment section if you have some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this video. And so keeping this intro short, simple, and sweet, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into the video. So the first thing that I have in my USA home that I did not have in my German home is an open kitchen. And this is sort of like a 70-30 mix for me because 70% of the homes that I lived in in Germany did not have an open kitchen and 30% did. But I feel like almost 95% of the homes that I've lived in in the USA have an open kitchen concept. And I sort of like it, but on the flip side, I don't like it. I prefer if the house is smaller to have a closed kitchen. And if the house is bigger, I don't mind having an open kitchen because you have space. In Germany, a lot of times kitchens have I can't say walls, walls or doors that separate them from the other areas of the house. And it just creates, in my opinion, more space and more like you just feel like you're in a different area. And I prefer that because when I'm cooking my fried chicken, I don't want the fried chicken to also be in the living room. Even in the apartment that Mike and I were just in, we technically had an open kitchen, but there was a side wall that disconnected or how do you say split everything up the next thing that i have in this home that i did not have in my german home are excess pillows and i don't know if you guys can even see behind me but even with this pillow this pillow that pillow that pillow and i think behind that one there's another pillow as well but from the guest bedroom oh my gosh i think we have like six or seven pillows and that's not counting the ones that we have on the couch that we took off because they were taking up too much space i do have to say i sleep with more pillows here than I did in Germany. I had my one little square in Germany and sometimes I didn't even want my square. I put it away and so now I have my two rectangles and sometimes I steal one of Mike's rectangles. That's also I guess one of the things that my American home has that my German home doesn't have are these dang rectangular <laughs> squares. The next item that I have in this home but not in my German home are Red Dixie Solo Cups. Now I am not that American you guys. I <laughs> I wanna give Mike an American experience. And so there are some things that I try to include in this house and have in this home so he has a stereotypical American experience, but there are just some things I will not do. And purchasing red Solo cups to drink out of and just throw them away after one use is not something I can do or will do or want to do. And so I have reusable Solo cups in different colors, which for the pool, are amazing because you're not allowed to bring glass to the pool anyways. So if I want to bring a margarita, then I have the red solo cup option. The only difference is that mine is not disposable, but they're still, I think they're even still made by Dixie, which is the brand that sells the stereotypical ones that you see in movies and whatnot. I think what I can relate it to, which some people might disagree with me, but I think it's pretty funny, are the Coca-Cola um, glasses that you get from McDonald's. I wish that I brought them all with me here to the USA because we had a collection of them and I feel like those are the equivalent. Every German household that I have been in, they have at least one of those McDonald's Coca-Cola glasses. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it to people that have never been to Germany, never lived there, or never got a Coca-Cola glass from McDonald's, but you, if you know, you know. The next piece of equipment that I have in my USA home that I did not have in my German home is the water dispenser and ice maker attached to the fridge. And Mike thinks this is groundbreaking and mind boggling. He loves it. <laughs> ice. Yeah. Wasser, Wasser. 
You never, Mike never uses this, this function. Doch, all the barely. Time I just did it. Yeah, for me usually, not for, for you. For me, when it's warm. He usually is a room temperature kind of guy. I feel like that is a German trait because in the USA, we put ice in everything. We're drinking water, it's iced up to the brim. We're drinking a Coke, we're drinking a juice, we're drinking, I know people that put ice in their milk. We just like everything to be extremely cool, but also on the other end of the spectrum, extremely hot. There's no real in-between for us. The next item is going to be a microwave. And you guys are probably thinking, but Haley, we have microwaves in Germany. Y'all do, but I even went to Saturn.de to make sure that I was not crazy. Y'all don't have a lot of microwaves with the popcorn setting. In the USA, I believe most microwaves, especially newer ones, have a popcorn button where you can just press a button and you put in a bag of popcorn and in one minute and 57 seconds you're gonna have perfectly pop popcorn out of the microwave and i do have to say that being back in the usa i used to love sweet popcorn in deutschland but now i'm back on the salty kick but that's like war for a lot of people but back to the microwave point I find this to be so hilarious because we didn't even have a microwave in our old apartment and we lived there for three years. And before that, uh, it was very rare for me to have a microwave. And if there was a microwave in the house, it was rarely used. The next thing that I have in my USA apartment that I did not have in my German apartment, which I have brought this up so many times on my channel and I will continue bringing it up because it just makes me question, how do Americans wash their Hole. It is the in head shower head, in drilled shower head. I don't know how you say it, but basically that the shower head is connected to the wall and it doesn't come out. This is something that you have to install yourself. I'm not allowed to because I am renting here, but all of the homes, even if they've been rented, purchased, owned in Germany that I have been to have all had like disconnect or shower heads that you could take off and wash yourself with. And I never thought about this because all of my shower heads, most of my shower heads, I should say not all, most of my shower heads have been ones that are connected to the wall. And then I got to Germany, I was like, why are all the shower heads not connected to the wall? And then now I'm like, why are all the shower heads connected to the wall? How am I supposed to wash myself properly? And also the pressure of water here in the USA in so many different houses that I've been in and taken showers in, it's so low or it's so less than in Germany. In Germany, I feel like I'm being washed with a pressure washer. It's like whoosh. And here it feels like I'm being spit on by the water. And maybe that's how people that have bidets feel about people that don't have bidets. And maybe one day I'm gonna have a bidet and I'll turn into one of a like the day people but right now I'm just at the shower head person level so maybe there's different forms that you can how do you say like morph into y'all can let me know in the comment section if I'm crazy or not I mean I already know that I'm crazy but I guess you guys can just let me know 100% in the comment section if I'm crazy or not. So with the next item, I never really paid too close of attention to, so y'all can let me know if you have this in your German household or not, but it has to deal with top loading washing machines. And I'm pretty sure none of the homes that I lived in, that I visited, that I saw laundry rooms in had top loading laundry machines or washing machines. Very interesting when I think about it now because I'm trying to envision every home that I've been in with a washer. I have been in a laundry mat before and they did have top loading, no, side load, no, they had top loading um, washing machines, but homes, I don't think I've ever seen one before. And it's very funny because every washing machine that I've had in the USA has been a top loaded one, not a side loaded one. And I don't know which one I prefer, or which one is better for me. It doesn't really matter, but it's very interesting because it was a muscle memory that I had because I would just always throw my laundry in from the side and now I have to throw it from the top. 
it's something so minimal, but it's something where you catch yourself doing something or wanting to do something and you have to like fix yourself. So the last and final item that I have in my USA home that I did not have in my German home has a lot to do with the structural and design aspect of a home. And it is that I have vents above my doors in certain rooms. And I'm gonna try my best to include pictures and videos because for some people, me saying that I have vents above my doors or rooms means nothing to you it's gibberish basically i have this little square area that has little vents in it that air can flow through and it's pretty straightforward in how to explain it but there is a reason behind this and that is due to our ac a lot of times in the usa we do not open our windows like in germany so germany they don't have a lot of times an AC unit. and a lot of American homes, you have an AC unit, which means you're nine times out of 10, especially if you live in a place like Florida, you're not going to have your windows open to lift. There's not a mild temperature where I live unless it's winter. A lot of times what you have to do is let the AC run 24 seven, but because you have no real gust of wind blowing through the house, there's no way for the air to travel. And so those vents up there, I'm pointing up there, you guys can't see it, but there are vents up there and those vents are to prevent air sitting and to allow air into different areas of the home and create a stream of lift. And so with that being said, those are all of the items that I have in my USA home that I don't have in, or I didn't have in my German home. And I hope this video was interesting for you guys. I hope it gave you a chuckle or a laugh, but aside from that, I'm going y'all. It's warm. It's hot. Oh my Lord. I need to turn the air down because the lights have been on and I am sweating. But aside from that, thank you so much for watching you guys. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day, weekend, and bye.